hello and welcome to my channel and this is a super good day I am so excited I cannot wait to show you my project it turned out so much better than I thought it would and nobody but me knows the mistakes that I made I made one putting it together and there's a little flaw but um, you can't really see it so unless somebody looks really really close um, they won't notice it but first I'm going to show you something so this is a bunch of cardstock and it's actually let me show you this stuff here is all different Christmas prints of paper I believe this came from I think it's Caban K A B A N I think anyway I had I purchased it through Creating Craft uh, a couple years ago and it came with um, it was like a card kit kind of in it in its own way but it because it came with um, toppers and um, stuff like that um, which I have in a different um, container but um, oh, here let me show you this so if you created a card with one of these this is how big the card would be which is and of course my ruler has disappeared oh yeah it has no it hasn't here it is so if you made a card which I think is what they intended um, the card would measure eight and a quarter by five and three quarters um, or you could do the you know I don't know what that car uh, book fold or not book fold but is that you know where it's like anyway I don't want to bend them so I had just done this one a while back and um, so anyway I am going to show you the new tissue box that I created it is so stinking adorable and I'm just saying that because not just saying that I really think it's stinking adorable <laughs> so I decided to go through this paper and see if I could come up with some papers from here that I could use because you're talking this is not like our kind of cardstock. This is UK cardstock. <laughs> um, I mean, it's like super duper duper thick. And it's almost like um, a cereal box. I mean, it's that, you know, you can hear, the, hear that. And so um, I have all these different patterns and stuff. And my thought process is I will probably never make a card this size. But I will probably end up cutting something like this off and then using it. Um, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's just beautiful cardstock. Um, so lots of different patterns and um, fun things that you could incorporate into a card. So anyway, I thought, well... Heck, what if I um, went ahead and saw if I could find some of those pieces that would work? And I did. I just wanted to show you this other paper here real quick before I get into that. Um, this is uh, my little paws. Oh, it's, that's not. That's, that's instructions. And uh, this is tattered lace stuff that I've downloaded that I can then... I printed that I could then use for projects but this is also something else that I received uh, that I purchased was um, these um, the return of little paws and I guess they were both the oh uh, it just shows you different uh, designs on what you can make so it came with all this paper and again it's really um, thick, thick paper. And what this is, is the kind, the paper that you would insert inside of a card. You know how some of those fancy um, cards you buy in the store, they've got 
the card base and then right in the center they have it folded and glued down but the inside flaps kind of you can kind of move them I always thought that was really cool uh, I thought I might try that with some of that paper anyway I also used finished up this bottle of snow text I made a Christmas one and I'm hoping that you think it's good enough to enter into um, my church's uh, um, preschool raffle. Um, so here we go. Okay. I almost am tempted to pick up my camera and show it to you that way. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to just get my camera off the stand. And I'm going to hold it, which means that, of course, um, I'm going to shake. Oops, I forgot to unplug it. I had to do this video earlier, and uh, my battery was dead. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. See if I can zoom out. There we go. So... Here's the house, and we're talking, this is sturdy. Um, let me take it off of the box. I just want you to see and how sturdy this is. I mean, I love this paper. Uh, I really um, think I'm going to use more of it. So, remember I told you I thought I would cut these out in foam board, and I did. And I then painted them, hold on, while I reach. <laughs> um, I then painted them with this Folk Art Metallic, and I love the color. This is, well, that's a color on the lid. The door, I also is cut out in foam board, and that's one of the doors I showed you that doesn't come with this die set. And I painted this folk art um, metallic on the door and then I created some well they're supposed to be stairs <laughs> I, I did my best and then I just painted them with this black uh, metallic um, folk art all right so that's what I did I um, these are some stickers that I thought would look really cute here. And remember the fence that I, I cut out in foam board? I did absolutely nothing to it. I just glued it on to the, the paper. This is also a sticker. This came with this little girl. Um, for the inside, for this plastic, I have some... Um, this stuff called not vellum but you know that stuff and it's got uh, designs in it and I almost threw this piece away because it has these like I don't know if you can see that let me see can you see that uh, it's got red swirls in it but it actually works really well it works fine uh, for that um, here's some of the snow text I just kind of put it put some down there on the steps little bit there um, I decided that I wanted and I was gonna hang lights and I changed my mind and I decided to put this blue uh, tinsel on it instead and I love it I think it really really makes it look good and so there's my some snow and I put snow all over the top okay this is this side of it this is a die cut that I had die cut out in um, I think that's silver. No, nope, in gold um, uh, cardstock. And then I just placed this little, um, uh, it's just a, I don't know what you call it. It's just a little thing that I had in my stash. And it kind of fell out on my lap. That's why it ended up there. And I put a little bit more snow there. And then let's look at this picture here. I cut a picture out 
I then um, glued it to the back of the frame, foam, the foam board frame, and then I just cut out the frame again in this kind of uh, rust colored paper. Okay, and here's, I love my back. Look how cute that is. I just fell so much in love with this. As soon as I saw this paper, I went, oh my goodness, if I can get two of those out of that sheet of paper, I can put the snowman on the back. And it worked perfect. It was perfect. And so, um, again, I just put the fence. And um, then, um, of course, I did this, uh, painted this. I did paint both sides. Um, you wouldn't probably have to, but I, I did paint both sides. I don't think I did the door on both sides, though. And then this is the other side. And again, we just got a fence. And um, if you can see that, in the window there, I took some uh, trim and a little bit of... Um, uh, little bits of pieces of lace that I had and I just put those on the side there and you might be able to see that red streaks through the windows a little bit better there but it kind of get adds to it since it's a holiday themed but um, yeah here's the other ribbon that I um, I just taped it or taped it, I glued it to the back of the board but I think it turned out so cute I hope this video wasn't too wiggly because I am really loving this house. I just, I am just so, I couldn't, I couldn't hardly sleep all night because I wanted to, uh, I finished the snow text and then I went in my, in the house for the night. And so, um, when I came out this morning, it was all dry and, oh, I just love it. I didn't put any glitter on this one like I did the mailbox, but... That's okay. Um, it still looks like it's got some snow dripping off the, the roof there. So, anyway, tell me what you think. Um, I hope you like it as much as I do, and I think it's going to um, go into the, um, excuse me, it's going to go into the auction for um, the preschool at our church uh, that we have. Um, so, Thanks everybody for watching and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in my next video. Keep crafting!